مدير الانزلاع حريق كبير في ملف بيروت لا عطرة يا عطرة البلاية يا عطرة انفجار انفجار نووي What we're fighting is so big, so corrupt, to break. Lebanon is going through so many crises at the same time. The whole world is thinking about the COVID-19 and the pandemic. But here we're thinking how we're gonna get poisoned from the food because it has not been refrigerated. There's no more medicine. The health system is falling apart. The, the nurses, the doctors left. Teachers are leaving, so the education system is falling apart. You know how they say in, in crisis people need to eat and to have a place to sleep? I also feel people need to laugh. You need like a small part of you that that is feeling a bit okay to be able to Get up in the morning. After the explosion, we started going and performing in the affected areas. And, you know, some of the team members were like, oh, people are grieving. Is it like the right time or not? For me, I felt, of course, it's the right time because everybody living in this situation needs the space. When I was a kid here in Lebanon, I, I got the first prize in poetry in Arabic. They hosted me in the TV program for kids. From then, I became part of the presenters of this TV program. So I started presenting, dancing, saying poetry, singing, and doing all sorts of things. And I stayed when I was eight years old until 23 years old. The first time I heard about clowning as an art form was when I went to London for my performing arts school. When I discovered my own clown, and the clown we're talking about here is, is this transparent, vulnerable persona. It's you and everything you like and you dislike in yourself times a hundred and you're there in front of the audience, you're showing them who you truly are, and they're laughing at you. And then you laugh at yourself. So, so for me, this personal journey helped me go from being an angry person to a very light, happy person who is very playful. My first clown was this army-like, paranoid clown. When I discovered it, I was like, oh, that's not me. But then after a while, I was like, yeah, that's me. That's me with everything I carried from living during the war and everything that we went through in Lebanon. We are starting the Boom Boom Orchestra in two minutes. So please close your eyes now. I'm a mother and I teach and I run Clowny in with all these 
projects and I perform. It's a lot of things. Definitely I have a very um, supportive partner and so I'm lucky to do all of this and I, I work a lot. ومشيت شعرك يا قمر بالمشط الحلو الحجر وينك يا قمر What do you want to eat, mommy? يلا مامي يلا يلا جاسم بده يطفي المطار لك يلا جاسم بده يطفي المطار Oh, it's okay The big mask The big keys بدك ماسك بدك كيف يلا فوتي تاكلي يو وانت لبن وات ايلس يو وانت فيش يا يو وانت فيش يا ريلي فيش فيش اوكي جو هاف فيش او لا يا افتر ذا اكسبلوجن I felt my daughter has to go through what I went through when I was a kid. It was the first time where I felt I, I needed to leave for her own sake and I don't want to live this anymore either. But then bit by bit, so when we went on the streets and we started helping, then I felt I can't leave now. I have this tool that I need to use because now it's needed. Now people need this moment of joy, this moment of laughter, even if it's for one second. We all need it to stick together. If we all leave, who's gonna stay and what's gonna happen? We've been doing a lot of performances and psychosocial support uh, sessions and a lot of projects in different camps. We've been to all the camps all over Lebanon. We got to a point where we don't differentiate anymore between Syrians, Palestinians, Lebanese. Everybody is really living in, in misery. place where we've performed a lot because the explosion was there. I live 10 minutes away by car and I felt it happen in the building next to me. What did they feel? make them forget what happened but it makes them remember they can enjoy play they can laugh again عندك <laughs> after a year nobody was held accountable all of us are still living the trauma of what happened So we thought as clowns we would do one film where we only come and take off our noses as like a gesture of this is not something that we can joke about to say that we're not okay. For a clown to take off their nose is, is a big thing. Basically, life now is just about solving problems and it's not about doing anything else, really, because we don't have the luxury to do anything else. So now we have to solve the gas problem because we don't have gas to cook at home. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's okay to eat nuts for... Uh, 
<laughs> breakfast and lunch, but we can't have it like <laughs> for two days in a row. I'm clear, ma. But they're rushing for the fire gas. آه موجود الغاز والخبز والماء كله إيش اليوم؟ لا كله كميات قليلة إيه؟ من جمعة ما كان في ولا أنيني والمتنوزيل بدك هيك كمان عندنا كعك العباس شيء طيب فاضل بقى 13 شرقي إيه؟ أوكي يلا باي Clowning doesn't solve the problems. We need to work bigger to solve problems. But what we do with clowning is bringing people together to challenge this reality that we live in. And all together, we can change systems.